Hello, everyone. I am IGN's Dan Stapleton, and with me is IGN's Justin Davis. Hello. All right, and with us is the Bureau XCOM Declassified. This is actually the first time, uh, to my knowledge, that the PC UI will be will be shown off anywhere. Yes, we're uh, taking a look at how this looks and functions on the PC. And we can also show off right now the, the uh, all the settings menus, which mm -hmm. are PC exclusive, of course. Yeah. So uh, in the graphic settings, you've got you know kind of the staples here. It's, it's not you know super fancy, but it's got it's got an FOV slider. Oh, that uh, that actually is non-standard, I would say. Yeah, well, well, you know, it's it's a shame we've gotten to the point where it's not. But let's see how high that. Oh, it goes up to 100. That's that's pretty respectable. Yeah. I don't know why anybody would not want 100. Or why would anybody want 65? Is a better question. I want to go over 9,000. And it, it's a it's a third-person shooter, so yeah. it's not it's not as crucial as a first-person shooter, but yeah. it, but it's definitely helpful. That's actually a very very good point. Um, so you've got uh, your. You know, texture detail stuff. Most of these have, have three settings. A few of them have four for very high. So there's no sort of ultra setting that we're seeing right now. Well, I mean, for shadows, it's ultra. Sure. Yeah. Um, Anti-aliasing will go, you know, it, it doesn't doesn't have the, the number on there, but you can assume it's 2x, 4x, 8x. Yep. Um, same for anisotropic. Oh, that goes up to 16. So there actually is, you know, especially compared to some games that were developed, uh, you know, maybe not on consoles first, but de certainly developed with consoles in mind, you have a lot of options here. Like, how mu how long do you want bullet decals to stick around, um, you know, ambient occlusion, things like that you wouldn't see in, you know, the settings menu for every game. Right. And certainly not physics. F physics is a, is a nice little extra. You know, they, they can't make it actually affect gameplay in any way, but it, it you know, throws a little bit extra stuff around when, when things blow up. Yep. All right, so we can go back. Oh, let's, let's also check out the uh, the game, uh, the configurable controls, which is always important. It's mm -hmm. always it's always tragic when a game does not have this. No, it really is. But you know, it's it's all it's all here. Everything you'd want to see. So you can map things to every key that you want. If you want to be a crazy person and you know map movement to something other than WASD, they will allow you to be that crazy person. I, I know a couple guys that do that. They're they're perverts. They're, yeah, they're deviants. That's true. <laughs> That's absolutely right. I couldn't agree more. All right. But uh, yeah. what was in others? Sorry, go oh, back. Sorry. In others, that, that's just, just the, more controls. Yeah, if you gotcha. like get into the objection, uh, objective screen or interact. And, and like I that, did so. see um, that you can uh, just what, probably plug in a controller. You can, and, that, and that's what's, okay. been, what's been shown so far. We actually have a gamepad plugged in here. I'm going to show you something cool in a second here. Yeah. So, so I do you think, Dan, you're a big PC gamer. A little bit. Would you, if you found out, I'm playing Borderlands 2 right now on my computer, but I'm using an Xbox controller. <laughs> Are you gonna like slap me full on across the face for that, or is that okay? <laughs> that, that's not that's not okay. A, sh a shooter with, with a gamepad. I just like the way controllers feel. I'm not really a mouse and keyboard guy. Well, so I'm, I'm gonna show you here what like first of all for for reference. Here's what here's what the typical UI looks like. Uh, for you have a controller in your hand I right do. now. Yes, and this is plugged in. So this is what we've seen before, which is this this control wheel, the radial menu. Right. So you'll you'll, you'll see. Yeah, you, know, you can control your your two uh, your two uh, buddies here. I've I've actually put you in the oh, game, here, Justin. That's nice. Because because I love you and I want to get you killed. <laughs> that's true. Uh, Send me directly into harm's way. Right. Right. And also uh, Colin Moriarty. I've got I got both of you as as snipers here. Uh, you can choose the class of your of your minions. Okay. Um, so now when you switch back to mouse and keyboard. Right. So I'm just. Gonna to put this this controller down here. Set the controller down. And I'm gonna start using the mouse. And when I go here and I hit spacebar, mm. Shazam! We got an entirely different UI. That actually is pretty slick. It's slick that this in and of itself isn't really special, but it's kind of special that it does it on the fly. It's it's a little bit special that that they w they went to the trouble of actually creating a different UI for the PC. Yeah. Uh, I mean, usually you'll see that you'll see a developer just say, "Okay, you can push all the same buttons with the mouse," and the and the radial menu just doesn't work very well on a mouse. Yeah. And so, how exactly does this work with the keyboard? So it it allows you to like say, I want to control you. Yeah. I hit A. Oh, okay, and, and then, then I can use the the numbers to. So your, your three squad mates are ASD, and then from within those, you can use the hotkeys to exactly. you know select what you want them to do. Right, and it's and you can also use the mouse. I actually find that it's not really great with the mouse because it sort of moves. Right, it, ha it has kind of the same annoying quality that that on Mac OS like the the uh, the, the dock has. Yeah, but at least you can turn that off. Right, so like I want to I want to select the first ability here for you, Justin. Uh -huh. oh, well, oh, it's over there now. Yeah, yeah so sure. It's, but you can use the keyboard. You can, I, I, and that's what I've been doing mostly. Mm -hmm. um, I think that um, it, it's also kind of annoying. Like if I if I'm trying to use both at the same time, um, like if I if I bring this up and I want to control Justin, 
Right. So I go over to A, and then okay, I want to I want to select one of your abilities. Then I start moving the mouse, and it's over here. Oh so, yeah. So as soon as you mouse over something else. Right. So you kind of have to decide one or the other. You're going to use mouse or keyboard. Sure. Uh, I find the keyboard is pretty good. Sure. Um, so. And it's nice that they took the you know went to the effort to you know give you your own little custom deal. Right. Um, you know, is there anything else that we need to know about sort of how this is a little bit different? And again, you know, we were sort of just taking a look at this on PC for the first time, learning how the UI is different. Yeah. It's good that we have all those options. It's good that they gave you sort of a separate mouse and keyboard option. I, I think uh, you know, if you want to highlight how the graphics are different, like the, this, this lighting effect you don't get on, on low settings or on consoles. No, so. definitely not. So, I mean, it's, and, uh, you know, we, we can, we'll be doing a little bit more coverage on this. Um, it's, it's mostly, you know, what, what we've seen uh, before... In fact, this this particular level we've seen before, but um, you know, there's there's more to see in in the in the areas we visited. So. Well, and you know, Mr. Dan Stapleton is just a happy camper. Whenever he has a mouse and keyboard in hand, I am. Um, you're not one of us console gaming peasants. <laughs> you are. I, I wouldn't go that far. I'm, I'm actually playing Last of Us right now. That's true. A PC gamer good. master race. So. <laughs> so if you are a member of the PC master race, um, now you've gotten a little sneak peek at how the Bureau XCOM Declassified is going to look and function. Um, and if you, there is a little bit of stuttering right now, by the way, but that's because this is sort of an early build. Yeah, like. it's, it's not it's not done yet, so let's, let's forgive that. And uh, and I've also got it maxed out. I'm actually not sure what what, what graphics card it is in this machine. Yeah. So um, yeah, we can always turn that down to minimize that. But um, but yeah, we will be uh, doing much more on this. It's coming out on August 20th, uh -huh. and uh, we'll be uh, reviewing it right around then. Cool. Thanks, Dan. Thank you, Justin.